Hi, welcome to another episode of Skipper Wing Draws a Thing, where I, the eponymous Skipper Wing, draw a thing, or multiple things, as the case may be. My name is Colin Skipper Wing Bird, and if you'd like a version of this video without the audio commentary, you can check out the links below, or in the cards, or in the annotations when they appear on screen at the end of this video, or on my face. There should be an annotation here. Before we get started, today's music is Untouchable by The Passion Hi-Fi because it was the first song I ever used for a process video and I don't know why I remember that. You can find a link to download it in the description below. So as for today's video, it's a meme or mimetic mutation currently circulating around the internet, the Meet the Artist. An artist usually draws a self-portrait of themselves in their most distinctive style along with a brief summary of themselves, usually including their likes and dislikes. No idea how it got started, but I figured I might as well jump on the bandwagon, put my own spin on it, and possibly drive some more tra traffic through the Skipper Wing social media sphere without resorting to fan art. Wow, that was incredibly cynical, wasn't it? What do you guys do to stay relevant? Memes? Fan art? Original concepts? Please tell me in the comments below. So, who am I? Well, I am Colin Skipperwing Bird. You can spell Colin however you want, one L or two, and Bird is spelled with a Y, not with an I. Um, where did Skipperwing come from? Well, I have an odd fixation with having a hat on my head. Thank you for that, Mario. And my favorite hat. Um, my favorite hat for my undergraduate college years was a Greek fisherman's cap or skipper's cap. Combined with my last name, bird, wing, get it? <laughs> it made for a really catchy online persona, skipper wing. Sadly, a friend suggested a much simpler and catchier one later on, seabird, as in a bird that lives by the sea while actually playing on my actual name. However, I had been using Skipper Wing for a few years at that point and wasn't looking to rebrand, so I've stuck with Skipper Wing ever since. A shame though, since Seabird fits me much better. And Skipper Wing is a much more creative name for my Crimson Fly character than, well, the Crimson Fly. Should I switch? What do you think? Please leave it in the comments. So. With this illustration, I wanted to do something special for my Meet the Artist. Most of them have the artist simply standing around, and I get what that's for. I mean, it's the basic T-pose that we use in character design so that um, other artists can get a feel for the character if they want or need to draw them as well. But that's kind of boring to me, so I changed it up. Initially. What I wanted to do was an animated gif of me running towards the camera, do a spinning jump, and land with my stylus high in the air. But then life happened, and I had no time for that. Ugh. So I took what would have been my main animation frame and just did that instead. Not as informative thanks to the posing and the lighting, but it screams me! And I felt that that was more important. Um, did you guys do a Meet the Artist? Please, leave a link for me to check it out in the comments below. As for my tools, and I'll come back to my likes and dislikes in a second. Well, it's always boiled down to two things since they ever, ever since they existed. And I had the capacity to own them. A tablet computer, or laptop computer with a attachable tablet and my cell phone because I really can't afford to be disconnected as an artist and burgeoning web presence. Blech. I am a digital artist by trade and by nature. Always have been one, always will be one. Not only that, but I hate being tied to any singular workstation, whether that's at school or at work, and I hate to be tied to the possibility that one of those workstations will go down for any reason. So, I love tablet computers. Go anywhere, work anywhere, upload and post anywhere with internet, of course. And I have yet to own a tablet PC that can't handle my demands, 
which is thankfully due to the very low barriers to entry for 2D an illustration and animation when you have the right tools. If you're curious, my main tablet is my highly customizable Microsoft Surface Pro 2. I don't like the 3 or 4 models because I hate the Ntrig pen drivers, um, which has a Bluetooth adapter, so I don't need a spare keyboard. Um, a power, a detachable power keyboard, which doubles as a spare battery. My Freedom Tablet um, case, which has eight adjustable positions, and my art, my art mouse, which turns off and on depending on how it's flexed, and my PS4 controller for Steam games. My other main tablet is my Cintiq Companion 2, which is great for everything artistic, but not so great as a laptop, um, since neither the on-screen keyboard or the built-in buttons really replace the tactile experience of an actual keyboard. Plus, the thing was $2,500, and it looks that cost. So I'm more reluctant to drag it out in places where it could get broken or broken or stolen. But there's nothing like it for actual professional work. So if I have a sitting moment, then I'll take that over the SP2. If you guys are content creators of any sort, what do you use and why? Please leave it in the comments. As for my actual likes, and dislikes, well, they're very vague, aren't they? Part of that is on purpose, as I dislike being fanatically loyal to any one place, person, place, thing, concept, or idea when consciously possible. And part of it was because my brain blanked when I tried to think of them. Well, except cephalopods. I hate octopi. And squids. Unless a conscious effort is made to humanize them, like the Octopodi from uh, the Octopi from Octopodi or Hank the Octopus from Finding Dory. It's mostly due to how alien they are. I mean, you can't see their mouths at first glance. So if you get eaten by one, you don't see it coming. They have no skeletons. Ugh. And those arms. Ugh. God. Ah, see, it's shaking my headphones off my head. It's basically a fear of the unknown. Funnily enough, because it's such an obscure fear, I mean, when am I ever going to encounter them naturally unless I go out of my way to do so? Not even my family knew I was afraid of them, until a family outing at an Asian restaurant in San Francisco where I couldn't finish, I literally could not finish my rice because there were tentacles in it. <sighs> but seriously, how about you guys? Any secret? But safe to share. Weird dislikes? Please leave them and your funny stories about them in the comments below. Please leave me. As for my other likes and dislikes, they tend to stem from things that either inspire me or humanity as a whole, except for fried chicken. I mean, I, I just like fried chicken, okay? Or they regress me slash humanity as a whole. Things that divide us, like bigotry of any kind, stop us from moving forward. And when observed objectively or scientifically, they serve no purpose but to ele elevate a few of us at the expense of the rest of us. We're reaching a point where that's just not acceptable to either to our society or our continued existence on this planet. We have to fix those things or we will die here, forgotten by the universe at large when the sun eventually absorbs the earth. Wow, that was depressing. As for my likes, they push me forward or they push me to be better. Playing games makes me a better puzzle solver. Books give me, um, reading give me greater empathy. Watching movies, well, they challenge my conceptions of possibility and push me to challenge other people through my work. Media nudges us forward and towards each other even if we can't see it. What about you guys? What do you like and or dislike? Please leave it in the comments. As for the layout of this of the page, uh, I didn't think about that until after I'd gotten the basic elements paged out. It was only then that I realized that they didn't really fit together very well because of how chaotic and inorganic the borders were. Whoops. After fiddling with it for a bit, I organized them into a sort of circular shape and tried to tie them together with a red ink line from my stylus. That didn't really work, but I kept the circular design tweaked the colors so the major elements had a hint of red to them while everything else was in white. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment on your thoughts.